Hey guys, well I'm back. Um, today I'm going to do um, a couple of things. I'm going to show you some accessories that I bought and also to show you this new wig. Okay, usually I always start out as um, a stocking cap on my head. Um, pretty much it's the same thing. There's combs in a wig, you know, so it was no big deal me taking it out of the package, making this fuss and all this noise and everything. So. I said, let me just put on the wig, and I won't style it. I'll just wait till I make a video for you guys. So, I got another scalp. This is what I'm going to call lace fronts, because it looks like scalps when you first take it out the package. <laughs> so, um, as you know, I do a lot of sensational wigs, because Staten Island pretty much only has um, sensational wigs. They don't really branch out unless you go there and tell them to order it which I don't like to do just for a simple fact I want to see how it looks first before I buy it so this is um, sensational sensational empress lace front and this is called Victoria okay and she's in a number two it has baby hair in it now I really don't need the baby hair I actually tried looking at the baby hair and the baby hair pretty much looks like <clears throat> excuse me pubic hair so while I was cutting the lace the pubic hairs of the lace front which is baby hair it was just getting in the way and just it was just so annoying but um um as you can see you know my husband came in he didn't even know it was the lace front because I kind of learned from Scarlet how to blend my own you know baby hair in so um so here it is okay this is what she looks like on here all right so when I first got this it was between this wig Lauren and um, Friday night hair I think it was 43 now I always wanted that wig that flares in the front but um, the only thing about Scarlet, even though Scarlet does flare in the front like um, Farrah Fawcett, it actually is long pieces. So sometimes when you want to, you know, try to be cute and go to the side, you have this long distracting piece. It, it looks like a comb over for a, a ball guy. You know how Donald Trump hair is all combed over? It kind of reminds me of that. So I wanted something to have a front bang. That was short so if I did want to do the feather look I could do it on the front and I can do it on the side I just wanted that wig that I don't have to always look in the mirror and make sure that every little piece is in where it's supposed to be now Victoria is definitely that type of hair that you can mess up however you want to it's still going to turn out really cute and nice also what I was a little bit afraid of getting this hair you know um, it has these long pieces right here as you can see it has long pieces and it's very full right here so I was a little bit afraid to get it thinking that it will look like Rick James you know like sensational 70 61 was it or 60 one of those curly wigs that just was really really bad um, so I said you know what let me just try it and you know what when I put it on it I mean the lace just melted onto my hair okay um, this is the part. I count in the front, it was an inch, and on the side, if you wanted to do side parts, it was about half an inch. But actually, when you see it in person, that's all you need because this hair is just that beautiful and it's very soft, as you know, all sensational or synthetic wigs in the beginning. So, I'm just telling you how it is out of the package. So, this is the hair just right out of the package. I didn't finger comb it, I just took it out and it just and it's just like this okay um, so let me give you a front look as you can see a really beautiful part right here very natural like I said I pulled just a little bit of my hair in the front which you can't really even tell where the lace is I'll show you where the lace is there it is that's lace bam just cover it up with some baby hair and you're good okay so like I said I really fell in love with this wig because it has the f so many uh, it's like a waterfall I would call this hair like waterfall it's layers here it's layers there layers there layers back here 
and it gets long now the only thing that I'm kind of scared of with this wig is like um you know when um synthetic wigs get old you know it kind of gets really natty down here so I don't want this to look real nice and this to look really crappy okay so I'm going to style it with you guys I'm going you know it really doesn't matter how I'm going to put it I'm going to just do the front part and let me just comb it out see how this looks you know I never styled anything with you guys before because it kind of takes some time to do it and it's really hard to style and see how it's a nice beautiful bang that's what I love I love this bang oh my gosh I fell in love with it I'm just combing it down as you can see I mean this what I like about this wig it's very versatile you can just simply comb out this part and keep the rest you know curly just like this it can look like so many wigs in one you know it can look like this wig from free trace it can look like this wig and this a wig and it's all in one wig you know and if you really look at it it looks like my hair that's how good it looks you know it, I'm you know at first I said you know what I'm in love with Scarlet but I kind of fell out of love with Scarlet within a week I still kind of use Scarlet now but just to take pictures with but um this wig right here is definitely a keeper I'm definitely going to reorder it I know I said that about Scarlet but that was because that was my first lace front but this right here I mean there's no reason for me to get another lace front that's similar to this you know I can keep the curls if I want to but I'm not going to keep the curls I'm going to brush out the the layers like I did with this one because this one right here the layers in the front just looks like spot on like perfect so let's do another section okay we're just gonna brush it out you know I'm from New York guys so how's that hurricane hello oh my gosh we had a hurricane New York had a hurricane we also had a earthquake which was an aftershock actually but you know what I was in Sephora this is where I got this lipstick this is actually Sephora's lip stain okay and it's what is it called it's called it doesn't have a name it just says 90 so they actually had um, uh, Stella Stelly one of those names um, they actually had the lip stain that I really like, which was the same color, but it was like $21. So the lady said, well, we have a $12 version of it, which is by Sephora, and it's, it's a lip stain. Now, ladies, when you do a lip stain, do not put um, Vaseline on because it's, it won't stain. It's just going to be glossy, okay? Um, you know how you put, um, what is this? When you put... Um, lipstick on after you put on Vaseline right don't put Vaseline on before put Vaseline on after you put on a lip stain and then it will stay on way longer you can kiss somebody the only thing that comes off is the is the gloss okay okay so I'm just I really don't want to comb too much out just for the simple fact that um, I really do want to save this wig for a better purpose I just kind of wanted to show you guys this part right here I'm really loving the front of this wig and how real it looks it actually looks like a sewing to be honest um I, sh I sent the picture to my friend I said you know look at this you know look at my hair she's like oh who did your hair and I said no it's a wig it's, a, it's actually a lace front so she thought it was a sewing so if you can fool people you know why not you know and I have a lot of friends and family who like to sit there and stare at my hair to see if it's real or not which is sometimes annoying see there's so many layers here you know so like I said I really don't want to comb too much out I just wanted to show you guys this okay so this is how it looks in the front I'm gonna do a side part for you guys alright I don't have my comb out here I actually had to come out here because 
my daughter's sleeping and my husband's sleeping in the bedroom and I was so excited about this um, this this wig and I had to show you guys so okay so now I'm gonna do a side bang for you guys okay I love side bangs I don't know about you but I love side bangs it's like my favorite thing in the world okay all right and I just pretty much I'm just gonna finger comb the curls going back on this side Alright. Oh my gosh, you don't understand. I was so excited to get this wig. I wanted this wig so badly. I was waiting for it. I got it from um hair wig hair harlem dot com or is it hair wigs harlem dot com. It's one of those ones. I don't know which one it was, but um I just love it. Um, I'll write down the actual, you know, uh, website down in the description box. But um, but yeah, I really do love this wig for the simple fact that it looks real. As if you you got a blowout or you got a roller set. This is what this hair remind me of a roller set, and you're just ready to pretty much rock out in the New York clubs, you know. Um, actually, ugh, dag. I think I may have to do another video because I don't think I can do the video right now because I'm already at 11 minutes and you can do well you know what let me see if I can okay so I'm going to show you the new accessories that I bought and I'm not even going to tell you what I where I got them from okay I'm just going to let you view it okay this is feather this is the white feather and it also has a string of um, rhinestones okay that's one now the other feather earring I got is a brown one I remember the one that I did from sensational um, 7063 when I had that one feather one I kind of stepped it up because I, I got that from the 99 cent store <laughs> and yeah it was it was pretty bad but but I did want to show you these new feather earrings that I got okay this one right here has gold and this can go pretty much with anything, you know, okay? So, now I'm going to tell you where I got them from. In fact, I'll show you. Rainbow. Yes, rainbow. I wore these earrings one time, and they said, did you get those from Aldo? And I told them, no, people do not believe that I did not get these from Aldo. I mean, these are Aldo quality earrings but I got it from Rainbow I mean Rainbow is stepping up I mean the prices are getting a little pricey with their clothes but not that bad to the point where I'm paying $15 for these I got these both for $4.99 okay $5 each okay and they're good they're not you know weightless they have good weight on it to keep it down okay and also I wanted to show you one more earring um, that I bought from there from rainbows I'm, t Whew, I'm telling you I don't know what's going gotten in maybe it's the new owners of rainbows I think that's what it is I think rainbows have new owners and um, they changed the style they actually making really good quality um, you know uh, jewelry now they just have to fix some of their <laughs> some of their um, what is it called? Some of their uh, shoes and bags. And then they'll be good. I mean, some, you know, some rainbow shoes are, are cute and all. But um, I really love earrings. If you know me personally, you know that I love accessories. So, this is me. Okay, this right here is Victoria. I'm loving Victoria. Victoria is something you can wear to a cookout, to your birthday party, to the club any and everywhere that you want to go okay you can do a side bang you can do it in the front bang I mean this is just a versatile vixen beautiful hair and I love it it's long it goes down here um of course of any other wigs of course it's going to be kind of you know just one hand back there but people are not going to be looking behind you they're going to look in the front of you so um I'll be back to show you some other stuff another time but other than that peace